hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna start by unboxing a pr package i got from bomb nails and i've been really really loving the items that she's been sending me the quality of her products are so amazing so i cannot wait to show you guys the items that she sent over so jumping right into the unboxing the first thing i'm going to show you guys is this 3d brush this is what you would use to do 3D nail art. It's really popular when doing the 3D flowers. I know I did a couple sets where I've done 3D flowers and it's really fun. But the brush I currently use for them is like really worn out. It's a cheap brush from Amazon. So getting this was really nice. Now I have a new high quality brush to do more 3D nail art. The next item I'm going to show is a black and white gel polish. Now I've been really really wanting to try these because I watch her videos all the time and whenever she's talking about like new launches sometimes she mentions them in some of her recent videos she mentioned how she cannot wait to launch these because the quality is just like so nice and see so yeah, I finally have them and I cannot wait to test them out however for this video I didn't end up using them but you can just tell from like looking at them that the quality is really great they're really pigmented and I may use them in my next video because the acrylics that she sent me are just so bomb. I have to use them again and I may use them in my next video and then tie in some of her gel polishes. Um, yeah, the next item we got are these little decals here. My first initial thought is that these are a lot of stickers even though they are the same like type of flowers, same vibe. She did send me a lot of different colors which is so nice for variety. Um, when I was flipping through them, they have like this really thick cardboard at the back. And like I said, my initial thought was that these are going to be stickers. But usually stickers don't have like this really hard back. And then also one of them were like oddly placed. So I wanted to open it and see what it was. These are actually really thin and fragile like flower decals. And I couldn't really tell if they were just like paper flowers or 3D flowers, like the real flowers. They were just that good quality that I couldn't even tell. Um, and also with them being like really flat like this, it's going to make them perfect for encapsulation. You won't have any sticking up. It's going to lay super flat to that nail. Now the last item in this box was definitely my favorite. She sent over some acrylics to me and this is I believe a new collection from her. And this is her Kawaii Dreams collection. When she told me she was going to be sending me a PR package, I did not expect any acrylics like this. Like, I thought it was just going to be something from her website already. But I am so, so excited for this. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I love doing, like, Kawaii nails. I love glitter. I love pink. I love charms. Basically, anything that gives you, like, that Y2K aesthetic or just any type of nails like that i am all for it so when i seen this collection i was just like really blown away i cannot wait to swatch these and just look at how these are swatching guys these glitters are just so amazing i love that there's a glitter overload but it's not too hard to work with because i know sometimes when you have a lot of glitter like this it's hard to pick up so like I feel like the powder to glitter ratio was like perfect. I feel like these are going to be great for beginners if you want these types of acrylics. Or if you are on a more advanced level, these are just going to be great to use. Very beginner friendly as well as all of her other acrylics. She has some really nice cover colors. She has a really nice neon collection, um, a tropical collection, and I actually reviewed those on my channel. I did two separate videos. So if you want to check them out, I have them linked down below or linked in the cards, whichever one. But yeah, I just love these acrylics so much. But I have to say the Cyber Junk, I believe the one with like the reddish glitter, I have to say that one is my absolute favorite. Like even though all of these are like so nice, like honestly, I can't really pick a favorite. But if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the Cyber Junk, I believe it was called, which is the one with like the more red tones. Like, I don't know why, but that one is, like, really, really jumping out at me. But then we also have, like, the ones with the blue and purples. Like, I don't know. Like, all of these are just so amazing and just so pretty. And I don't even know how many times I've said that so far. But, yeah, just know that these acrylics are great. 
I do have a discount code on her website that you guys can use if you are interested. She has more items like some nail art, she has acrylic brushes, more collections. Like I said, she has the neon collection, she has the glitter tropical collection, she has more cover colors. So yeah, if you haven't checked out her website or if you haven't heard of her brand at all, I will leave her website down below and also her Instagram as well. She posts very frequently over there. So I'll leave everything down below for you guys to check out along with my discount codes. So getting into the actual nail design, I don't even know where to start, but I am going to be using three acrylics. Two of them are from Bomb Nails um, and one of them is from Kara Sky. So this milky white here is from Kara Sky. I do have a discount code that you guys can use if you're interested. It's such a nice milky white. I feel like it's not too sheer or too like bright white. It's honestly the perfect milky white in my eyes. Um, and also for the other ones, I am going to be using the pinkish glitter. I don't remember what it was called, but I will have it like on the screen so you guys know which one it is. Yeah, I'm going to be only using one of the glitters and I'll tell you why in a second. But the other color here I'm using is called Bombshell. This is also one of the acrylics that she sent me a while ago. And it is also a very, very nice acrylic. You'll see me working with it without a problem. And if smooth and buttery was an item, it would definitely be this acrylic because it was just so smooth. Like, you guys need to check out her shop. Like I said, I do watch her channel like a lot. When I hear her talking about her products and like basically what she's working on and like what goes into putting out products, you can tell that quality is definitely something that she's really big on and you can honestly see it within these products. Like it's not given just anything thrown together, it's just not any vendor. You can tell she takes her time and tests out these products herself because she do post videos herself so she uses her products all the time. So you can get a better demonstration on how she uses them. And her acrylic application is just so flawless. Like I don't want to keep repeating myself but it is just that great. Like it's so buttery and so smooth. However this is one of the ones that I feel like is kind of sheer. And I think it's supposed to be like that but that's not really what I wanted for this um, ombre here. As you can see it's not really like blending out. It's kind of too sheer once I thin it out so I got this part done here and I'm gonna go on to my next nail I'm gonna give it time to dry first and then I'll go back once I finish doing my ring finger um because I feel like since the acrylic is still wet underneath it just kind of thins out a little too much so I'm gonna wait for the base to dry first and then I'm gonna go in with another bead just so I can get the ombre to look a little better so moving on to the ring finger, I'm going to be doing a all glitter nail using that pink star acrylic and it was just so fun to use these. Like I said, the powder and glitter ratio is just amazing. Um, sometimes you have a lot of troubles picking these up because there's so much glitter and not really enough of clear powder to like for the monomer to stick if I'm making any sense. I didn't have any problems with that so that is a plus. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a full nail of this glitter. And overall, I just love this entire application. When you take a closer look in these acrylics, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm seeing some glitters that I have never seen before, like so singly. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that little pink diamond, but it was just so cute. And once I finish, I'm going to go back to my pinky nail since I did give it a little bit of time to dry. And as you can see, I am just going over it with more acrylic. I'm fixing up my cuticle area. And then also, I'm going to be taking bigger beads just to make my ombre look a little bit better and a little bit seamless. So you can't see that harsh line underneath from my milky white. Waiting for it to dry a little bit was definitely the key to making the ombre a little better. Um, and then I'm going to be doing another solid glitter nail on my middle nail. So both of my middle fingers are going to be full glitter. And then my pinky and index are going to be ombres. I will end up adding a little bit more glitter on my thumb with another ombre. But I'll talk a little bit more about it when I actually get to it. Um, 
And one thing I was going to say, but I wanted to wait until I got everything else, like, said. One thing that, like, was taking me so long to actually start this design. Like, it took me about two or three hours just to figure out what I wanted to do. And I know you guys are probably like, this is not really complicated at all. But it took me so long because I ended up loving all of the glitters so much. I just wanted to do a full on like 4XL kawaii nail set using just about all the glitters. Even though it sounds pretty like all of these glitters going into it. They are very pretty individually but thinking about it I didn't know how they were going to look all together with like a bunch of charms. I mean it could have looked good but I just didn't want to like have anything I didn't like for the first time I'm using these acrylics so after all of that time thinking I was just like I'm gonna give all of these acrylics their own separate videos so that is exactly what I'm going to do and I love them so much I do not mind at all because of course I am going to use these again in the future so I just plan to give all of these acrylics their own video and that is why I'm only going to be using one acrylic for today's video. So if you want to see me use all of the other acrylics make sure that you turn on my post notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload. Or also if you want to see all of these or some of them um, in a nail set together let me know and I'll try to come up with something because I'm actually very curious. I don't think I've ever seen like a kawaii set with a bunch of different glitters like this into one nail design so that would be very interesting to see or you guys can tag me in some kawaii or extra glittery nails and then I'll just get inspo from all of them and combine them into one so I feel like that would be very very cool so let me know down below if you guys want to see that but yeah, I do plan to give all of these acrylics their own video and I plan on using one of them maybe in my next video, I'm not sure. But I kind of want to go ahead and get it done while I'm thinking about it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go on my little rant there. But yeah, I did end up adding some of the pink glitter onto my ombre. I just did like two little lines going diagonal. Um, I didn't want to cover up my ombre completely, but I also wanted to add glitter to that nail. But I just didn't know how. So adding it like that was like, I feel like a great idea just so that you can see the glitters and my ombre wasn't completely covered because I really do love how this bombshell color and Kiara Sky's milky white blend together. Such a beautiful combination. So yeah, I am just going ahead doing my other ombre. I am going to wait once I get on like a decent amount of this pink color. I'm going to give it time to dry just like I did my other nail. And then I'm going to move on to the thumb. If you guys are seeing how lumpy the white looks at the tip, that is because I accidentally picked up a bead that was too dry and it just dried on me before I could blend it out. So yeah, that is why it looks like that near the end. But once I encapsulate and file, it's not gonna be that noticeable. For my thumb, I am going to be using the glitter once again, but I'm not going to be taking the glitter all the way to like the tips of the nails. It's not going to be a full on glitter, basically like an ombre, like a three way ombre. So this nail is going to go from pink glitter to clear and it was just so cute in the end. And so yeah, I think I did enough talking for today's video or at least for this application part. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this play out and then I'll be back once it's time to encapsulate and file the nails.
so after getting my application laid of my glitters and ombres this is what the nails look like and i'm so in love with these already but of course we have to do some encapsulation so we don't file away our glitters so for my clear acrylic i'm going to be using some from not polish not polish has a really great clear and you will see it as I'm using it today. So I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate all of my nails. I do want to make these nails kind of thin, like not as thick as I usually would. Because I am going to be adding some charms on them. So I don't want the nails to be super thick. And also with the charms. So for my encapsulation, I'm not going to do too much. Just only getting the nails encapsulated. Just so that I'm not going to file through. And also when you are encapsulating your nails, I feel like you get a better application when you are working with the beads just a little bit wetter than normal. It just gives you a more glass look in my opinion. So with my encapsulation, I did keep in a little bit more than I usually would. I'll just show like two or three fingers, but I did show just about all of them for this video just because I felt like it was a lot more satisfying, so I did keep it in. And if you did watch through the entire encapsulation part, thank you so much. Um, but this is what we have now. All of the nails are encapsulated. I did take some time for them to completely dry, and now it's time to shape file and buff them. So as always, I start off with my hand file and just go in on the sides and underneath the nail. I work at the free edge of the nail and also I go over top. And once I do all of my nails the same way, I go in with my e-file to seal around the cuticle and just to remove the product that's underneath the nail or where I feel there is a little bit more bulk. And then I'll go back in with my hand file. I don't show it as much on my channel. But once I finish filing around my cuticles with my e-file, I do go back in with my hand file to crispen everything up. And then of course go over with a buffer to remove all of the scratches. And that's basically how I'm going to do my filing. Um, I'm not going to keep much in of my filing though just because I didn't really feel like it. I did record it but I just feel like I didn't want to keep a lot of it in. So I'm just going to show one nail that I'm using my hand file with. And then I'll show two fingers of me using my e-file and I'm going to let the rest of this part play out.
After a good cleanse using some alcohol and a lint-free wipe, I went ahead and cleansed down the nails to remove all of that dust. And this is what the nails are looking like so far. They are just so gorgeous. Um, I am going to go in straight away and add on my top coat because if you guys have been watching me, I don't like to add charms first and then try to top coat around them. So I'm going to just go over it with my top coat over all of my nails and cure. And also I did just want to mention how this part of the video and like the rest of it, it is going to look a little foggy. I didn't realize but I think I may have touched my camera lens and now it's like really foggy. I didn't realize until I started editing the video so I do apologize for that but you can still see what is going on just not as clear. Once I got on my top coat, I did go ahead and cure for about 30 to 60 seconds. And this is what the nails look like. So I did end up taking like some finishing shots without my charms just because I love how this design look as is. So I did take a break with filming. I went and took some pictures. And yeah, I just love how they look without the charms. So I just wanted to get like both of them. And so now I'm going back in and adding on my charms. I do have my bling box. Um... And I wasn't really sure what type of look I was going for with the charms. So I just got my rhinestones out. I have a lot of different charms to choose from. And I did end up adding a lot of the decision making out because it was just too much footage to watch. Um, so you'll see me just go straight in adding all my charms, adding all my rhinestone glue. I did cure for about 15 seconds after each nail so they wouldn't come off. And yeah, I'm just going to be adding all my charms. Like I said, there's no really thing to it i'm just going to be adding random charms as you would see on kawaii nails but of course all of them are going to have that really cute pink theme and aesthetic For my ombre nails, I didn't want to cover up my ombre too much or I didn't want to cover up my glitters. So what I end up working out for this is I'm going to go back over my nails with that top coat and I'm going to put one little charm up at the top. Then for the rest of my nails, just go in with some rhinestones. That way it could be super blingy still but not be like overpowered by the charms. I went ahead and cured my index. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my pinky nail. Once I finish this, I'm going to add my cuticle oil, re-nourish my cuticles, and I'll be showing you guys how the finished nails look. So after rubbing in the cuticle oil, this is how the finished nails turn out. Again, the screen is a little foggy, but only for a few seconds because I did take some footage in the sunlight and you can see them a lot better. But I just love how this looks. Also, for my thumb, I did end up going in with a few more rhinestones just to make it look a little bit more blingy. But yeah, I absolutely love how these nails turn out. Like I told you guys, I love kawaii nails. I love the aesthetic of it. Like it is just so adorable and so cute. And this glitter was just perfect for this design. So I cannot wait to use the other ones in my future videos. 
I love these little lollipop charms, the popsicle. This is just a cuteness overload. Like, could you guys just imagine both of my hands done with this design in acrylic? It would just be too cute. So yeah, I'll leave everything I use in today's video down below. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, seen her videos, I do recommend it. I will leave her YouTube channel, her Instagram, and also her website down below so you guys can have it all in one place. Let me know which acrylic you would like me to use in my next video using them. And yeah, that basically wraps up today's video. Let me know what you thought about today's nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.